Right guys, here we are again, the second video for this lovely Sunday. This is Firewind, the band led by Greek Shred Maestro, Mr. Gus G. Um, he's an awesome shredder, very good songwriter. He was with Ozzy for a while. It's a shame he didn't stick around with Ozzy. I don't know, Ozzy, uh, Ozzy dumped him, I think, for whatever reason. He could have written a really good album with Ossie, but it wasn't to be. But he's an awesome guy. His own band is awesome. Firewind is just awesome. They've had nine albums and no, nowhere near a bad album. I mean, it's hard for me to do even a ranking. I mean, it's very hard. Um, I find that the, the quality level is pretty much like high all the way. But anyway, let's go back to the beginning, uh, between Heaven and Hell. Um, it's a very good start for the band. Heavy, melodic, power metal. Um, the song that I like here is I Will Fight Alone. It's a very catchy song, very, very good vocal as well. The first two albums uh, feature a singer called Stephen Frederick. He's an American guy. Uh, he wasn't like famous at all, I think, before he joined Firewind. Uh, he was in Kenziner as well after, I think he was in Kenziner, um, was it before joining Firewind? Or about the same time, like very similar times. He was sort of like quite a popular singer in them days, very throaty voice, very powerful. The second song to mention there is Warrior, again a very cool song. But I Will Fight Alone is, is a super song, it's really catchy. The second album uh, was released very soon after, I think a year or so after, Burning Earth. It's it's an awesome album. It's probably, you know, I'll I'll go through the ranking at the end, but it's it's up there. Uh the song that I like here is uh, I Am the Anger. It, it's a very catchy song again. I mean, the chorus is very memorable. The second song to mention is Brother's Keeper. That's also a very cool song, but Burning Earth the second album with Stephen Frederick is awesome, it's awesome. But anyway, Firewind have had a lot of singers in their career. So Frederick was out, the third album was Forged by Fire and saw the, saw the singer of um, uh, Sri Lankan descent, Chitti Somapala, taking over on the mic. He, 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 he's, a, I think, a German-based guy. I've actually talked to him a few times he he was in power quest as well and he he's been in in other bands as well he, he's had a lot of singing um uh births like singing positions in power melodic metal bands um so he's, he's a very good singer chitty he's an awesome singer forged by fire is a great album the song that i like there is tyranny it's a really catchy song it's like very cool it, it was released as a single but it is a very cool song the second song to mention is Burning Hell. It's pretty, as the title would suggest, pretty heavy song. It is for, for Firewind anyway. Okay, the next fourth album, Chitty was out again. It didn't last long. <laughs> Only the words, which was a shame. But Apollo was in. Apollo, the Greek guy. Um, uh, his, his second name I, 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 I'll mispronounce, so... Uh, I, I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> I haven't got it written down to attempt. But anyway, Apollo was in. He he was he was awesome for the band. He's he's been the best singer in the band, no doubt. He's got a great voice. This album, Allegiance, was awesome. Um, the song that I've picked out here is "Till the End of Time." Very catchy song. A little bit more epic in feel. Very melodic. Not not so much shredding or fast paced. Um, the, the other song to mention is Ready to Strike, which is fast paced. It's very catchy though. Typical Gus Shredding, awesome song. The next album, Apollo Continues, The Premonition. Premonition is just an awesome album, it's awesome. But more of that at the end when I do the rankings. The song that I'm going to pick out here is Head Up High. I think that's an awesome song, very catchy. Two other songs, three other songs to mention. Uh, My Loneliness, very catchy song. Angels Forgive Me and Mercenary Man, the single of the album. Very cool songs. I mean, the whole album is very cool. 
Next album is Days of Defiance. Uh, again, Apollo continues on vocals. It's a very good album. It's more of the same. It's a little bit heavier than uh, The Premonition. The song that I've picked out here is Chariot. It's a very catchy song, very cool song. Two other ones to mention, Killing the Name of Love and When All Is Said and Done. Um, both songs are very good. Days of Defiance is a solid album. I mean, there's no, it's not, I don't think there's really any average uh, Fire Wind album. All of, all of them are really top class power metal, but it's just a matter of preference in the end. The next album is Few Against Many. This was the last album to feature Apollo. He got tired of, I think, uh, power metal maybe, and he wanted to do other styles. He went on to do some like doomy style, spiritual beggars, and more sort of like mid-paced heavy metal, melodic metal types, not so much shredding. Anyway, the song that I like here is The Undying Fire. That's a very cool song, very melodic, catchy riffs, very cool. Two other songs to mention, Glorious, which is like a more mid-paced number, pretty cool. No Heroes, No Sinners, again, a very cool song. Right, the second to last album, Immortals. Um, Immortals was uh, uh, the first album featuring Henning Bass, uh, the singer, the old singer of the German power battle band Metallium. They're not, they weren't famous, but Henning Bass was a really good singer. I mean, in his time. And then when he joined Firewind, I was quite quite well excited for it. I thought, yeah, he's a, he's a really good singer. I mean, uh, so Apollo's left. They got Henning in. He, he's really good. Uh, the album was actually really solid. I mean, it was a good album. It wasn't like one of the best Firewind. But it was an okay album. It was be well better than okay. It was a really good album. The song I, I wanted to pick here is Warriors and Saints. Uh, that's also a very cool song. Two others to mention. Wars of Ages and Back on the Throne. Both very catchy songs. Very cool. And finally we come to the album from this year. The self-titled Firewind album. Henning, he couldn't do touring, I think. And then Gus thought, well, I don't know, maybe it's time to let him go. And he tried to get another singer. Although I think from, from what I read in interviews, he wasn't really looking at the guy he did get. Someone said, why don't you try this guy? And he sent him the songs and then he was blown away. And the guy is, of course, uh, Herbie Langens. He's... Uh, the singer from uh, Avantasia, he does backing vocals, he, he used to be in Simbreed, he's in the light bringer of Sweden, this new band, and he's in other bands as well, he, he he's in another band as well, I forget, they're like a melodic hard rock band, um, I forget their name, but anyway, this new album with Herbie was really good, it was really solid, um, the song I want to mention here is Devour, it's a really fast-paced, shredding song. Very heavy as well. Herbie's vocals on the album are very, very throaty. Almost a bit too much. It's like he's trying really hard to say, sing with a lot of power. And then it's slightly getting gritty. That's why I preferred uh, Apollo's vocals. He was powerful, but he always uh, kept hold of the melody as well. But anyway, two other songs to mention. Perfect Stranger and Orbitual Sunrise from uh, the self-titled this year. Both very cool songs. Okay, that was the songs. Now let's do a quick ranking. Uh, in ninth place, Few Against Many, the last album with Apollo. Number eight is Immortals, the one and only one with Henning Bass. The self-titled most recent one with Herbie comes in at number seven. Number six is Days of Defiance, Apollo singing. Number five, Between Heaven and Hell, Stephen Frederick sings. Number four, Forged by Fire, Chitty Samapala sings. Allegiance, Apollo sings. Number three. Number two, Burning Earth, I love that album, Stephen Frederick sings. And my favourite Firewind album is The Premonition, very melodic album. But... 
when I when I put few against many at number nine, this this means that the others are just a little bit better. It doesn't mean few against many is bad because it sure as hell isn't. There's nowhere near any bad Firewind album. I mean, the quality level is all high. All albums start at minimum 7, 7.5 out of 10. And then you work your way up to the ones that you prefer. But 7 out of 10 is the minimum that I would give to any Firewind album. Okay, there you have it. Firewind. Stay metal. <laughs>